Hey, this is Karen. I haven't been filming for a while. Apologize for that. Had some medical conditions going on. But I am here to quickly videotape a swap I'm doing, taking a rat trap. Well, it's supposed to be a mouse trap, but I got rat traps because I like I like more surface area to work with, I guess. So you take a rat trap and you alter it. So you change one of these things to these things. These are the ones I made for the swap. Let me quickly um, go over these. This one I did in a blue-green kind of peacocky thing. See, there's the peacock on top. And um, I put a flower that I made with some Tyvek envelopes on all of them. And I put, uh, well, a lot of peacock feathers. And it's supposed to be a steampunk style. So I try to get some, you know, various cogs and... Um, gears and stuff. Is that folk? I don't even know if this is focusing. You know. Anyway, um, there we go. Is that better? I think it is. Okay. So anyway, so that's the peacocky one. Uh, I tended to just start going into. Oh, we had to do an altered key. So that's my altered key. Okay. Now the second one is a more traditional steampunk type of style. Uh, we had to have an altered key, as you see here. So we had to have an altered key. We had to have some kind of a vintage type of picture, I think. And we had to um, what was oh have a dangly thing, which I'm not good at doing, to be honest. I ran out a lot of time, so... Um, yeah, anyway, so they're not the best. Um, so this is more of a steampunk style, as you see. There's that flower with the uh, Tyvek envelope. Put some uh, flowers on there and gears and stuff, you know. Now with these things, uh, I, wa I want to try to make them useful. So I put a um, knobby, you know, these uh, knobs on each one so that you can open it. And of course, since it's a trap, it's, you need a little, it has quite a bit of torque to it, but see how it, and I thought it could hang up on the wall, and you could just slip, I don't know, like, uh, messages or mail or something, something in there. Um, I covered them with, most of them, there's one that I didn't, but I covered most of them with canvas, and um, so that it would have a, you know, a cover to it to work on and put all these little doodads on them. So that is the, uh, oh, sorry, that's the steampunk one. All right, and then this one is um, kind of like a blue, blue-orange garden type of thing I was trying to do. Um, I'm going to show you. This is a Spellbinders gate cutter. Cut by cut. Um, which really was very pretty. I did like it a lot. And I crackled it. I got some blue, blue crackle paint. Here, I'm trying to get a little more light. Okay, sorry. Blue crackle paint on air, and, um, it even opens. See if I, can, I can't do this with one hand, sorry. Yay! <laughs> just some, uh, just some metal flowers. And all that grassy stuff is the peacock fringe feather part. And uh, this is just some Hobby Lobby plastic viney thing. And I put some gold buff, buff and gold, something like that. Rub and buff. On there, there's a flower on the Tyvek. And let's see, what other little special thing. This is another, uh, I think this is Cheery Lynn, a butterfly cut that I cut out and colored. Uh, I cut some wings on there, and um, and again a knob, so I can pull it back, hanging on a wall. So that is the garden one. Oh, and uh, okay, there's the altar key. Let me pick this baby up again. Maybe you can see it better. Yeah, I just put a. I put some. I colored some of the brass. Some brass flower type of jewelry stuff I had. 
attach the key on there and um, put some leaf chain. It, 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 the chain was sold with those little leaves on them. And that's it. It's again. I'm not a. I'm not the fanciest charm dangle, whatever you want to call it, maker. Anyway, so that's the garden one. I really like that one too. Um, and then the last one is this kind of purple, black, and silver um, one. Um, I use the uh, use a lot of Stephen. Oh, no, no, sorry. Tim Holt products. I am so out of it, sorry. Um, anyway. And I used a lot, yeah, a lot of silver, a lot of uh, purple. I had some die-cut wings in the background that you can't, yeah, I just, you can't see them anymore. Um, I touched the wings like that. On the sides, just using uh, some, um, pretty decent chipboard and then um, mm -hmm. oh there's those Angelina fibers um, that you iron together I'll show you guys that later again the Tyvek flower there's my picture with a crackle finish um, and a lot of blingies a lot of blingies just some some gears of course, has to be kind of. This one is probably not the most steampunky one, but uh, I really like this one. This is one of my favorite. This is like one of my favorite ones. And then this, come on, turn around, baby. Don't want to turn around. There we go. And that's my altered. It's very lightly altered, I admit. Key with a feather in the background there, and just kind of paint it up a bit. And I use some leaf charms as wings. So that is my last one. These are getting sent to mini album scrap soon. Um, I want to try to get together a video on how I made these. Uh, hopefully maybe I'll stick it on this one. Alright, so if I don't stick it on this one, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks.